kid in me class I was abusive to him Cause little did you know it that I used to be slim Baggy jeans were in fashion, I thought they were amazing Skinny jeans came out, I didn't have to change them uh, basically like if it's somebody I know then I'm just gonna have a, a shitload of stuff to say about them anyway so I'll kinda I'll spend maybe a week or two kinda just going over different punchlines in my head and then most of them won't actually get used like I'll come up with better shit and better shit and better shit and then eventually I'll sit down and just bang out four verses for them like Red thinks that I did, um, maybe slightly, but I think it was closer than people people say it was, do you know what I mean? He definitely slaughtered me in the OT, like I might have edged it in three, but uh, you know on the day like things are different, you know, Red left the room where all the judges and they all came back looking kind of guilty and gave like the result and then they all jumped in a car and went home, like so I don't know, nobody was really around to talk to him on the day afterwards. I had to say, like, there's, there's a lot. If I had to pick out someone who I actually think can't be beat, I'd probably say it's all calm because I just don't think anyone's gonna touch him. It's actually the worst battle. I suppose it had to be Dove. Like, do you know, um, it didn't go too well for him on the day, but he seemed like a nice lad. I think. I think it'd be a good battle, I think it'd be close. I don't, you know, you never know on the day. You can't say like you can beat anyone unless they're absolutely fucking shit. But like, you know, there's a battle that you might think, oh, I have crazy shit for him, but you don't know how easy he finds you to slag as well, do you know what I mean? So I definitely think it'd be a good battle. Favourite battle I've done was probably the Bounty battle because I thought that we both coined together at best on the day. Favourite battle I've watched live, um, the Raw Soul and G Force and the Raw Soul and Red battles were pretty good to watch live. Electrically, no, but rapping, yeah, probably. <laughs> like, um, I think I've, I've definitely got my name out more through rap boys, like, you know, and I've, I've sold a couple of more CDs from it. I've got on tracks with other people, and basically, like, it's put me out there more that people know who I am now, so, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's fairly, you know, it's very stereotypically Irish, which, you know, lets people know we are Irish, just in case you didn't know already, but, so, I think the, the main thing is the battles, not the logo, like, but it's, it's not bad. I wouldn't say I sit down and come up with rebuttals all the time, but I do happen to come up with a lot of rebuttals, because I do, before battles, think, well, I wonder if he'll say this to me and that to me, and then I'll think, oh, well, I could say this back to him, like, the, obviously, the there was a big rebuttal against Reds or a pre-roll that, you know what I mean? Um, I do, I have some basic kind of shit, like if, if someone says to me an obvious kind of line that I could come up with myself, then I'll come up with a rebuttal to it. But some of it then I just throw in on the day if I can think of one. I'd say Boney was my best performance so far, like because I think I've come along with each battle, like, do you know, and I've made mistakes in each battle that I'm trying to learn from, I've made mistakes in the bony battle that I'm trying to learn from, so I think my next performance is definitely going to be my best, you know, because I'm going all out to up on that one, so the last battle is my best now, the next one will be the best after it, definitely. I think bony, like, really, is his presence on the day, really, I don't know, surprised me, like, you know, I really felt that he was he was coming across strong with what he was doing. Um, Reds, it was definitely a hard opponent because I knew going into it, you know what I mean, that he'd have a lot of funny shit for me because we know each other well. Um, yeah, so I'd say probably then too, been the hardest opponents for me, like. Yeah, I, I think, like, battling is something especially over here, which I think a lot of people will be into, do you know what I mean? Irish people love slagging each other. So I think if it just keeps building up a reputation, especially now with the page being ran by Red himself and Jeebus, like, you know, I think that it can definitely grow over here and people that are into it, people are going to come in and check it out. You see, I'm more of a, a right back sort of player, do you know what I mean? I can do the simple things well, whereas, you know, Red has, you know, the little tricks and all. But like, if it came down to it, and we were playing a football game. I would, he definitely wouldn't score. Do you know what I mean? Because I'd be just, you know, clearing that balls out there all day, no homo. 
I think uh, Fats' cardigan is gonna come for a bit of abuse, definitely. Um, worst dress. I, I, I just think Fats, man. Fell in love with hip hop at the age of 14 Fascinated by the way that the written word seems spit over a beat And still the young dream but how far I've come with Still was unseen, had the Wu-Tang big, Tupac and Dre Big L was the best man I have to say And it seems all the best ones have passed away Shot down seemingly for what they had to say So I kept getting deeper in the culture with An ever growing wisdom about me purchases Seeing through the bullshit and the industry beefs And all the pop song rappers that were lyrically weak Individual Willy build a bit by bit by the week A collection of the sickest when it's hitting its peak Always willing to speak about the music I love Me mates couldn't keep up but like I'm losing your nug And that's all you get because that's track off the EP and it's not out yet <laughs> At the moment I'm working on an EP which I've been working on for seemingly forever But I just want to get it 100% right Like it's, it's a lot less tracks than the last project But I feel I want it to be just bear track so it will be out soon but I'm making sure it's 100% really. Other than that you can get the nugget that you love to hate which you can buy from terrorist.com and if you want to go on to check out tracks, videos, whatever sort of shit like go on to youtube.com and myspace.com slash your man nugget and uh, basically just go on there and tell me I'm great and all and fucking send me money.